I can't even say silly sausages. The bite is not biting. <laughs> my lip got caught when I'm talking. Hey guys, so I thought I'd give you another update on my braces. It's been a week and two days and nothing much has changed over the past five days or so. So I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video today and just kind of debrief how my week has been. So day one, I didn't really feel any pain. It was just a pressure feeling and then I found it difficult to bite down and chew food. But I still ate and also day one was the first time I included flossing my braces which is another task on its own. I was finding it really difficult to floss the back teeth and I still am having trouble flossing the back, the back teeth because there's a wire, there's two wires that are like going across the teeth and I'm finding it hard to feed the, the floss above those wires basically. So yeah, cleaning adds on about 15 minutes just for flossing alone and that's just with the top row maybe 15 minutes is a reach but it does take longer but yeah i didn't have any rubbing of the braces or anything i didn't have to use wax or anything so day one wasn't that bad apart from obviously having to get the brackets changed because they did pop off so day two didn't wake up with much pain again i had a dull ache when pressing my tongue against my teeth that's still there now but it's not that bad i had a slight headache didn't take any meds for it still haven't taken any meds for um any of my pain i probably should have just so that i can eat something properly so yeah i've been eating normal things really but i can't eat anything really hard so you shouldn't be eating baguette anyway but i couldn't even bite down into chicken i had to like mince my food in a way like break it up into really small pieces and then try and chew it and even then I still couldn't chew it. One, because it hurt, and two, because I have like an open bite now where my teeth don't really come together. Just the very back ones are clenching together. And I think my canines are touching. But if I go to one side, like clench my teeth on one side, I can chew like that. So yeah, most of the time, if I'm chewing something chewy like chicken, I'm just chewing on one side. This. So that's that. With the staining, <laughs> everything was going great until I had an ice lolly. And I noticed it one day when I was brushing my teeth and I was like, oh, they're turning a bit yellow. And obviously I didn't clock that it was the ice lollies. So I had another one the next day and I realized that it just went even more yellow. So I was like, okay, I can't have the ice lollies. You know, the little rocket ice lollies, I can't have any coloring basically so any drinks like red or basically any drink with coloring in it it's gonna stain my braces most drinks i drink through a straw anyway um so i have had fizzy drink but i just make sure i drink through a straw i have um bendy plastic ones so i can put it right to the back of my mouth and you know yeah that's what i'm gonna have to do <laughs> i mean you shouldn't be getting sugar on your teeth anyway but even more so with braces because you can get a lot of cavities. And also with the with the ceramic braces as well, you don't want to be staining your elastics with the colouring. So yeah. So it was on day two that my bite changed. It felt a bit off-centered. I found that food gets stuck in the braces really easily. Like it does it doesn't feel nice to have the food in the braces either. So when I'm eating, I'm finding like it's just it just feels really horrible. Like Day two, my cheeks were getting quite sore, but I still didn't use any wax at that point. I just wanted to see how far I could take the pain. And honestly, guys, if you are a foodie, you are not going to enjoy having braces. I'm just hoping and praying that I'm going to be able to chew soon because <laughs> I feel like I haven't enjoyed a meal since I had my braces. And it's not just the pain, it's the, you know, the chewing. I'm a chewer, I chew my food. I like to savor the flavors and everything. So when I'm trying to chew my food now, it's like, I'm not savoring the flavors. I'm literally just eating because I'm hungry, like just to fill my stomach. So if you're a foodie, 
you're not gonna enjoy having braces <laughs> sorry <laughs> hopefully once i get my bottoms on the bite will kind of like fix itself but listen i need to enjoy a meal at some point there was a gritty feeling on my teeth for about a week um and i think that's just from the adhesive from when they scrape off it was all over like underneath hair and on top i can't feel the top of my teeth <laughs> I can still slightly feel it all around and it's difficult because I feel like it could be plaque but it's not plaque because I keep scrubbing and it's not coming off <laughs> so it's like a gritty feeling it's not smooth if you know what I mean like a tooth and I realized on day two the front four of my teeth were hurting really bad and I found that the bottom jaw was hitting the top of my teeth quite often it's like be like ow and even when i'm eating i had to be really careful not to like crunch my teeth i had to be careful not to make the jaw touch the top the front teeth it was so sore and even when brushing my teeth not knocking a toothbrush with my teeth <laughs> the pain the pain so you just have to be really careful when brushing your teeth and also even brushing your teeth hurts oh my gosh luckily like it was just four teeth and not all of the teeth that were hurting so i just took my time with my electric toothbrush i just pull it on a lower lower mode like a lower speed and just went across the teeth and also used a separate interdental brush as well just to relieve some sort of pain because it was really painful and also when i'm brushing my teeth like say the back of my teeth i would put my lip over my teeth like this and brush and then when i'm doing it on top i will do that and I found that I was having less pain doing it that way. And also that night I applied wax because the pain was just unbearable at this point. I developed an ulcer because of this, this one here, silver one. The very back bracket as well has a little piece of wire poking out and it's bearable, but if I don't wear the wax for too long, it scratches and then the only time I realised it's really hurting me is if I lift my cheek away from it and it kind of like stings. And also these ones rub as well on my lip. I've actually got an ulcer here on my lip. I don't know if you can see here. From it rubbing on my lip. But this side doesn't really bother me too much. Just the very back bracket, the second to last one. That rubs a little bit as well but I put wax there anytime I'm putting wax on just so that I can have complete relief from any rubbing and pain. And then these ones as well, I put a little bit of wax there. Most of the time I put the wax there while I'm asleep because I don't want to wake up with ulcers in my mouth. So day three is when I felt the most pain. This tooth right here. Yeah, this tooth right here. It was so painful like I probably should have taken medication at that point because <laughs> any little knock any little touch of the teeth it was just really bad I've never had toothache before so I don't know how to describe it but it wasn't like an internal pain in the gums it's the actual tooth I don't know how to describe it it's not a stabbing pain a shooting pain I guess and the rest of them as well was feeling quite sore so the front two teeth and this teeth and as you can see like it's actually working really quickly because I can see that these two teeth have come forward already and these two front teeth I've pushed back and I guess the widening of my teeth as well because it's actually sitting a bit different with the lower jaw as you can see oh yeah that's the bite I'm talking about it you can see it's open. It's all open. So on day four, the pain subsided a little bit. The ulcer in the cheek was really hurting me. So I applied some Bongella. That really helped. So yeah, the combination of the Bongella and the wax helped to heal this ulcer. It's still there a little bit. But that could be it just developing again because I've not been wearing my wax. Um, I'm not trying to wear the wax all the time. Because one, I don't want it to run out when I really need it and two apparently the cheat is hard enough as well so i do kind of want to want that process to come along because if i'm always protecting it, it's not gonna heal 
it's not gonna it's not gonna harden yeah obviously i still couldn't chew because still can't chew at this point although i haven't actually tried to eat anything today i've only had porridge because i just don't enjoy food now so <laughs> what's the point if you're not enjoying it you know anyways so from day five to now things have pretty much been the same the teeth hurt less when pushing my tongue like i still feel pain but it's not as bad as day three <laughs> brushing still hurts with the front four teeth anyway and my molars as well are a little bit sensitive so i just try and take my time with them so in the early days my bite only changed on one side and from day five is when the bite changed on both sides where they wasn't coming together on both sides so it was from day five that i kind of saw the rounding happening which i was quite happy about <laughs> and i didn't actually document anything else from day five so from day six to now i didn't document but literally it's just been the same can't eat it hurts to brush it's difficult to brush it's difficult to floss <sighs> when i sleep sometimes my tongue pushes to the front like and it gets like ridges on the side and i wake up in pain and have to readjust my tongue i don't know if i mentioned it already but i do clench my teeth at night i did get a mouth guard before i had the braces put on and obviously now i can't wear the, the mouth guard and plus it's quite hard to clench my teeth now anyway because the bite is not biting <laughs> i don't know if i still clench my teeth at night only my boyfriend would know but he's already snoring away before me so between those days, I can't remember when, but I reckon it was day seven where the molars on this side were really, really hurting. So I was comfortable with chewing my food on this side. <laughs> and then the next day, this side was really hurting. So I had to chew with this side and the bite is uncomfortable. And even yesterday, it was still hurting to chew on that side. So I just gotta wait and see if it hurts to chew today. I'm gonna be having fish and chips again because it's Saturday and we have our fast food on Saturday and see how we get on with that. It was actually quite easy to eat last time I had it. Really enjoyed that actually. I couldn't eat the harder chips, but the softer chips, I, I was able to actually mash it down really nicely. I just can't wait to be able to chew properly, have a burger, <laughs> have a salad. I mean, I can't even eat salad because it's crunchy and you need to chew it. This week has been carb-tastic and I'm not supposed to be eating carbs. Well, I mean, I'm supposed to be reducing carbs, my weight loss. It, with my mood, it has made me feel a little bit like, you know what, this is long. Like, I can't wait to have the braces off because I just got a bit sick and tired of having to do everything already. Like, it's only been a week. Cleaning is long, not being able to chew and enjoy my food is long. Obviously, snapped out of that real quick because I know that I'm going to enjoy my smile once the braces are off and a year is not that long it's long but it's not that long um so yeah so with the yellowing of the bands i don't know if you can see on camera but it's not that yellow in fact i reckon it being a bit yellow made it blend a bit more with my teeth because <laughs> my teeth aren't white they're like yellowish they look white because of the lights but they're a bit yellow to the point where i am going to get whitening after the braces are off yeah it blends a bit better than the bright white that i had it was like a pearlescent white and that i feel made my teeth look a bit yellow with the contrast so i'm not too worried about it right now but i will be getting them changed for the wedding because i just want a fresh fresh set of elastics for the wedding i don't think i mentioned it and I'm just gonna say it now. But I'm getting used to speaking, even though I still got a lisp, because before I was a lot more conscious about the braces being in my mouth. When I'm in public, I'm still like, you know, covering up my mouth. I don't know why, because they don't look horrible, but it's just a bit weird. I still haven't got used to having braces in my mouth or feeling comfortable even with people knowing that I have braces in my mouth. So, I'm hoping the love for them will come soon. At the moment, I feel like maybe I should have had Invisalign just for the aesthetics of it. Even though it's still visible, 
people are less likely to know that you've got braces instead of like having a full mouth of metal <sighs> so yeah getting used to that and also the adjusting my lip over the braces that is still apparent and i feel like it's going to be something that i'm going to deal with the whole time because the ceramic braces are more bulky than normal braces but i do want this lisp to actually go away because it's really annoying me <laughs> like silly sausages like i can't even say silly sausages without sounding like there's a full C just swishing in my mouth. <sighs> but yeah, you can hardly see them. <sighs> I can't even see them on the viewfinder. Anyway, but yeah, I'm happy. I'll be happier once I be able to chew. Yeah, let's just hope this year goes by quickly for braces sake and not for any other sake. But for braces sake, let's hope this year goes by quick. And let's hope that I'm actually done before my time. That would be great. But yeah, I will update you guys in a month. Because I don't feel like much is going to change. I did want to continue recording until the pain subsided. But I'll just let you guys know in the next video when it, when it subsided. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try and eat something now. I don't know what I'm going to have. Maybe some noodles. Noodles have been okay to eat although it's still difficult to chew <sighs> the thing is about me i hate swallowing food that's not been chewed like i hate it like oysters would be my worst nightmare so yeah i'm gonna try have some noodles now and get on with my day fish and chips later get in <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more braces content from me or even natural hair content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My lip got caught when I'm talking. My lip gets caught when I'm talking sometimes.